Qigong routine for a healthy body and mind. Let's start with opening the joints, crossing the wrists over each other, start to swirl your hands. You're going to spread your fingers, open up through the palms, and let the whole joint open, not just in the wrist, but between every little bone of the hands. And reverse directions. The wrists circle around each other, as each hand circles individually the wrist. In Qigong, we call these exercises silk reeling, like spinning the silk out of the silkworm's cocoon. We make the joints strong and smooth like silk. Give your hands a little shake, palms face up. Let the wrists open here. Palms face down, same thing. Let your wrists and fingers relax. Then take your left hand on your right elbow. The right hand is going to go in a big circle, coming up through the hole in the arms, and then out to the side. The left hand stays in contact with the right elbow, swirling in a circle around the elbow joint to create some friction and bring more heat and blood flow into the elbow joint. You can see I'm still opening and closing the joints of the wrist and hand. Let's go the other way. So now we go down through this hole in the arms and then up and out to the side. Feel free to just take some deep, slow breaths through your nose. Take the opportunity to relax and come back to yourself. Now right hand to the left elbow, coming up through the hole and out to the side. Right hand really stays in contact with the elbow the whole time, swirling in a circle around the joint. You want to feel some heat from the friction. And go the other way. Going down through the hole with the hand. And out and up to the side. Deep, slow breathing through the nose. These first exercises for the wrists and hands and arms. You're always welcome to do these seated. Shake it out. I guess I'm having a little joke with my camera person here. All right, let's take the left foot forward, right foot back. You're going to shake your left arm out. And then we're going to start to circle the left shoulder. So let your arm relax as we come around the knee and then stand up. Pull the shoulder up, back, and down. And then just relax the shoulder as we come around the knee. As you come through the bottom, let the shoulder just hang and relax, and then engage the shoulder muscles to pull it back and down the back. You can exhale as you come forward. Inhale as you roll up and back. You notice there's also a little circle of the waist here. Say hi to my dog, Kona. I was very happy to be off the leash here. All right, take both hands to the knee and start to circle the knee. You can start with small circles, see if that feels okay. Make them bigger if you want a little more challenge, strength, and blood flow into that joint. And if you feel any pain, 
from even the small circles, you can just hold still and just circle the kneecap with your hand, as I'll demonstrate here. And again, just think of the friction if you're doing this, bringing more heat and thus blood flow into the joint. Circle the other direction if you haven't already. In Qigong, we say the hinges of an active door never rust. So we take care of our hinges, our joints, by making an effort to move them in every direction of their range of motion. Let's straighten that front leg, straighten your back, slide down, stretch. We'll just open up the hamstrings here. A couple deep breaths, extend through your crown, keep a nice long spine. If you need more stretch, you can work it into the calves by lifting the toes and pulling back on them with the fingers. All right, we'll bring that up. And let's switch legs. Bring your right leg forward, left leg back. That's me mirroring you if you can't tell. Starting with the arm, let your right arm shake out, relax around the shoulder, come to the inside of the knee, roll it up, back and down. Lean forward, come around the knee, and stand back up as we roll the shoulder. So there's three movements here. One, the shoulder, rolling up, back and down, and then relaxing as we come around the knee. The other is the legs, we're shifting forwards and backwards, so we bend the front knee. Then straighten the front leg a bit, shifting back a bit. And the third movement is the waist. The waist circles as we move the body here. So one way we get a full body opening, even though our shoulder's the main focus. You can breathe with this again, exhaling around the bottom and inhaling over the top. Both hands to the kneecap again. Again, feel free to just use those uh, friction circles if this hurts the knee in any way. Experiment with small circles or make them bigger if you can. Build some stability around the knee here. Stability in the hip and ankle. And again, bring some lubrication and blood flow into the joints. Go the other way. Very nice. Let's find that stretch again. Straighten that right leg. Straighten your spine. Try to just hinge from the hips. We don't really add anything to the hamstring stretch by rounding the spine, so see if you can stay up here like this. <clears throat> so sliding down as far as you need for the stretch. That might be your shin. It might be a little higher up at your thigh. It might be all the way down to the foot or floor. Again, you can lift the toes and pull back on the toes with your fingers if you want even more stretch and bring it into the calves. Bring it up, step it back in, give your legs a shake. Let's take our thumbs to our lower back, specifically the sacrum, so that's the back of your hips. We're going to press in with the thumbs, send our hips back, then release the thumbs as our hips go way back like we're sitting in a chair. So thumbs released, hips back, and thumbs press like a little massage as hips go forward. It's a nice one to open up the hips, low back, and sacrum area. You can work your thumbs up or down an inch or two, up and down along the sacrum. You'll find lots of little pressure point locations in there. Feels like indentations along the sacrum that you can massage into. Then we'll turn it into teacups, taking our palms face up, crossing them over the face as the hips go forward. 
Spiral around behind. And reach forward like you're serving the tea. Over the face as we lean back. And wrap around by the hips as the hips drop back. Inhale as you come over. Exhale as you scoop behind. Let's change direction. Pulling back to the hips. Sweep forward and cross over the face. Hips back, pull back by the hips. Sweep out and forward and cross over the face. Again, you can inhale as you come over the top and exhale as you drop back. Let's bring it around, feet under the hips, and just find a forward fold stretch, nice and simple. Two deep breaths. under the shoulders. Palms face forward. Let's stretch the upper body. Call this one the stork spreads its feathers. Turn your palms forward. Circle in front. And then stand tall as the fingers pull down. Palms forward. Drop the hips back. And stand tall as you stretch down the back of the arms. Hold the stretch, lean the head over to the left. Give the head a few slow nods over the shoulder. For that stretch from the back of the hand up to the side of the neck. Roll across to the other side. A few slow head nods. Relax, shake it out. We're going to do the other side. So start with the palms face behind. Circle behind yourself. Come by the hips and then open the palms out to the side as the fingers pull down. Palms face backwards, circle back. And open, pull down with the palms out. Here, exhale. And inhale, stretch. Exhale, circle. Inhale, stretch. Head to one side. Slow nod. Exhale as you roll forward. Inhale as you roll back. Let that stretch go from the palm of the hand all the way up to the side of the neck. This time going up the inside of the arm. back, exhale forward, slow and deep. Relax it down, shake it out. Square those feet up again. Here we'll start to shake. 
just bouncing using the lower legs and feet and letting your upper body relax let your head nod slightly let your shoulders bounce up and down let your wrists and elbows relax low back and waist relax you can see if your thighs and buttocks can relax Let some sighing breaths, releasing tension and stress. Sighing out the mouth. Back to the center to a neutral position. Find your feet square under the shoulders. We're going to turn our palms forward, lift them up shoulder height. Turn the palms down, float them down by the hips. Turn palms forward, inhale, lift up, like you were lifting a cloud. Turn palms, exhale, float down, like you are pushing the cloud down. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Here we shift our attention from opening the body physically to moving the body energetically with the breath. Here we pay attention to how the movement of the body and breath can influence the mind and the energy, the chi. Helping us to feel more calm and balanced and centered. Feel for that slow movement to bring the body and mind together. Feeling of the body and breath, giving the mind something to pay attention to. Body and breath as the focal points of a moving meditation. Bring it into your chest, press it down. Rest in our neutral position here. Just take a breath. Let your crown float towards the sky. Let your tailbone sink to the earth. emptiness and space within, in between. We're going to pull our palms up to the chest, turn them towards the sky, and press gently up and slightly forwards. And bring the hands in, make fists. Squeeze the fists and interlock the knuckles, pressing them together as we round the spine slightly. We're going to inhale, open the palms towards the sky. Arms round, palms face up. Exhale, make fists, squeeze the fists and press them together around the spine. We call this one honoring earth. Inhale here, honoring heaven. Exhale down, honor earth. We sort of bow slightly, rounding the spine, squeezing the fists. We're also going to squeeze the feet on the floor. Here as we inhale, we relax the hands and the feet. And as we exhale and round, we're going to squeeze the fists and feel like our feet are grabbing the floor like an eagle's talons grabbing a fish. Inhale, relax feet and hands. We'll add a couple more points. We're going to exhale, we're going to squeeze the muscle around the eyes as well. Squeezing the juice out of the eyes, the lymphatic fluid. And opening and relaxing the eyes to invite blood to come in and wash the eyes out. Exhale, squeeze fists, feet, and eyes. Inhale, open up, and we'll add one more. The pelvic floor, you're going to do a kegel squeeze as we squeeze these other points. Squeeze the pe kegel fl floor, <laughs> pelvic floor. And open up and relax. Next time you do that one, you can try doing all of those points from the beginning. Relax in emptiness. Take a breath. Next, we're going to interlace just the tips of the fingers, float them up, press up in the same manner, and the hands go out to the sides, and when they're about shoulder height, we relax the wrists, come down, and again, interlace tips of the fingers. 
Let's just pull up to the chest, flip the hands, palms separate as they press up. Float out to the side, wrists stay flexed, and then they relax at shoulder height. So let's find our breath here. Inhale, pull up to the chest. Exhale, flip, separate, press. Inhale out to the sides. Exhale down. All breath through the nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continue breathing like that for a few more rounds. Turn to emptiness, relax, take a deep breath. We'll close with pulling down the sky. Inhale, float the hands up. So use your palms to guide your attention downwards through your body from head to toe and off into the earth. Inhale up. And exhale a simple body scan downwards through the body. Repeat with the breath through the nose. Last one, release. And bring the hands over the lower abdomen. Space just below your navel. And find some deep, slow breaths. Feeling for your breath to move at this place. Lower abdomen gently moving with the breath. with a few slow circles here. Circling the abdomen. A couple deep, slow nasal breaths. Center below the navel. Take a deep breath in. Release with a sigh. Letting that energy spread into your day. 